get right for the I M R G of Siva for the Indian Riders Group of the Southeastern Virginia. It was an invitational. There were a lot of Indians. Actually, this is the most Indian motorcycles I've seen in one area at one time. Normally when I'm riding my Indian, I am the only Indian if I'm in a group ride. Generally speaking, mine is the only Indian. But today, it's nothing but Indians. A refreshing change. So as I promised, this is the full video that I was going to make. I just put a two minute video out uh, a couple of days ago as a teaser. But here we are, just about to pull out. Everybody giving the I'm ready signal. I might have used the wrong hand there. It doesn't matter. I think I understood what I was doing. So we have lots of different types of riders. We have new riders, we have experienced riders. We have riders that have never ridden in a group before. But the uh, group riding group is pretty good. This is us pulling out onto Jefferson. We are going to have a great day. When it's a little overcast, a bit worried about thunderstorms. But that doesn't seem to be going to happen. We're keeping an eye on the weather forecast. Still on Jefferson. This is just trying to get out of Newport News. We're going to head towards the uh, James River Bridge. Pretty much the perfect place to ride. There's the James River drawbridge uh, up ahead. We're about to cross over and cross over that definitely. It's always exciting. Some people uh, are very, very worried about it. As long as you keep the uh, bars loose in your hands and let the motorcycle move around under you, there is nothing to worry about. And everybody made it across there. Walking. They had Smithfield Station has a Sunday brunch that was to die for. I've been there for a while. I uh, intend to go, go again. But normally, if you're going to go towards the, uh, the ferry, Normally, if you're going to ride towards the uh, ferry, you turn left here. I think it's uh, traffic lights. But as it seems, there is some sort of market festival going on, and the road is blocked off. So we're going straight ahead. Now. I've actually never been this way. So this is a bit of a magical mystery tour at the moment. slowly about to exit uh, Smithfield. Really nice and slow, nice and easy, make sure that they can keep up.
still photographs. And oh yes, the group got split up. The second uh, group of riders didn't make it onto the same ferry as us. photography I took my camera and my phone pictures with my phone my uh, little digital camera has stopped working I'm not having a good day technology wise today so we left as soon as the other group uh, arrived we saw them coming into the car park we geared up started up and we left we're going to ride out of the uh, Jamestown Visitor Centre and straight onto the Colonial Parkway Look at all those Indians, isn't that a marvellous sight? Especially with the two Union flags on my antenna at the back. Think of the uh, cars go past so we can get a clear run of it so everybody can turn right at the same time. I have uh, also uh, cut into large uh, parts out of this, otherwise uh, this video would probably be three hours long and no one's going to sit there and watch it and listen to me for three hours. Even on the Colonial Parkway there's uh, roadworks. Quite a few of the um, bridges on the Colonial Parkway were having uh, maintenance done on It's about time too. Decide to pay for the, uh, the highway and roads uh, infrastructure. And as we exit this, we're going to come up to the long tunnel that is on the Clone uh, Highway. I'm always a little bit surprised when I see this. It just seems uh, a long tunnel like this just seems so out of place. 
lights. But uh, it's a good place to bring your engine and listen to your exhaust pipes. One or two of the guys have some pretty loud pipes. It's uh, always uh, interesting to hear. My uh, camera doesn't really pick it up, but I can hear it. That was the end of our day, and it was a marvellous day too.